Hi, welcome to the next installment of A View into the Collection. Thank you for joining me. My name is Amy. I'm the Curator of Collections here at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. This month's theme honors Pueblo women. In 2000, we launched an annual program to award and honor an outstanding Pueblo woman for her contributions to the culture, community, and state. In collaboration with the New Mexico Commission on the Status of Women, a Pueblo woman was chosen from one of the 19 Pueblo communities and honored during a celebration at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. The inaugural awards program honored two distinguished artists, Pablita Velarde from Santa Clara Pueblo and Lucy Yepa Loudon of Jemez Pueblo. Lucy Yepa Loudon was born in 1916 and passed away in 2005. She was proficient in various art forms, though her passion and skill seemed to lie in the fabrication of textiles. She wove sash belts, embroidered traditional dance regalia, and created small, yet to scale, figures with hand sewn, detailed, and accurate renditions of traditional dance regalia on what she fondly called her little people. And to quote, she said, my little people are my way of preserving some of our traditions. I have never called them dolls. They're not playing dolls, they're serious. They represent dancers and everyday people in the different tribes. We are fortunate to have some of Lucy Yepa Loudon's works in our collection. These two figures are called harvest dancers and depict a man and woman dressed in their traditional harvest dance clothing replete with details like evergreen, rattle, kilt, manta, moccasins, sash belts, and feathers. The woman wears a tablita on her head. No small detail is neglected as seen in the hand-formed clay faces and tiny silver bracelets. Loudon attended the Albuquerque Indian Vocational High School where she learned traditional weaving and embroidery techniques such as this loom woven sash belt and a hand sewn shirt, which she embroidered with black and red details and buffalo nickels turned buttons at the cuffs. She was an accomplished weaver and embroiderer before making her little people. This lap loom belonged to Lucy and gives you an idea of the weaving technique and tools that enabled her to complete a sash belt. These belts are worn by, by female dancers at their waist to cinch their dance mantas in place and are made with um, either dyed wool or cotton. Each design is different and were traditionally woven in the colors of black, green, and red. So our next honoree is um, Pablita Velarde of Santa Clara Pueblo. Pablita was born in 1916 and achieved worldwide acclaim as one of the best known Pueblo artists with her richly observant paintings. In her work, she recreated scenes of daily life in her village at Santa Clara. She spent the majority of her career painting in earth pigments and watercolors, and later also created hand-sewn cloth dolls. Though not as explicitly detailed as Lucy Yepa Loudon's Little People, Pablita's hand-sewn dolls exhibit a clear amount of details. She also made pottery pieces, and we have one of her black-on-black -black pieces in our collection. This pottery piece has geometric details on each side and is signed Pablita on the bottom. Pablita's work made Pueblo art and life more accessible to the rest of the world. This large painting was a gift from Pablita to the center and represents this key aspect of her desire to share details from the Pueblo world. Here we see artists and craft people weaving, making jewelry, hand coiling clay into pottery, and assembling a Pueblo drum. This piece suits the cultural center in that it illustrates four principal art forms which all continue to this day. The deer dancer and Comanche dancer are painted in their finery with natural pigments ground and mixed with casein on masonite. Rather than painting these dance figures on a plain white background, I love how Pablita artfully fills in the space behind them with curves and step designs. They add another dimension without overpowering the image of the dancer. 
The image of the woman husking blue corn is a recent donation made by the widow of Pablita's granddaughter. Of the Pablita works in our collection, this is my favorite. The detail in the fence, each kernel of the corn, the pile of the discarded husks, and the prominence of the blue corn hanging behind the woman husking come together and create a peaceful setting. In 2002, our honoree was Geronima Cruz Montoya of Okeo Winge. With the award, Geronima was given a printed and framed proclamation declaring March Women's History Month in New Mexico. Geronima was an artist all her life and was recognized for her contributions to the world of art through years of educating many young Native artists. A book was written about Hieronima's rich and inspiring life and inspiring life titled The Worlds of Patsunu, Hieronima Cruz Montoya of San Juan Pueblo. Um, and again, just to um, let you know, San Juan Pueblo is now known as Oke Owinge. We have only one painting of Hieronima's in our collection. This piece is titled Pottery Bird and is painted on her, in her signature earth tones. The bird, surrounded by geometrical and floral designs, depicts design elements seen on some pottery jars. The painting was purchased with memorial funds in honor of a, long, a longtime volunteer named Tudor Marks. And I want to quote from her book, um, and I believe these are really appropriate for honoring our Pueblo women during this month of March. Um, so to quote from Geronima Cruz Montoya, today the world has become very complicated, but we all have a place in today's society. Traditional women are strong. They put up with hard life, but they survive. The traditional women of today are no different from women of years ago. They are hard workers raising families. The traditional women of today are more involved in the outside world. They go for higher education and therefore are professionals and have good, respectable positions, whether they are employed on the reservation or in urban cities. The traditional women help preserve our Indian culture, our traditional language, songs, prayers, and the language. If lost, we have nothing, end quote. So these are wise and much needed words and reminders from Jerry Montoya, who truly deserved all of the reverence and admiration from those who honored her life's accomplishments. I hope you enjoyed this segment um, honoring our Pueblo women. Join me next month for another view into the collection segment. I look forward to sharing with you more works of Pueblo art from our collection. Next month, I will share with you many hand-sewn and beautifully detailed um, dolls made by Regina Cata, who was also of Okeo Wingate Pueblo. Um, thank you for joining me. See you next time.